So, where did Mohammed say, where did Mohammed abolish slavery? Bob, there is nothing morally wrong about slavery. There is slavery nothing is morally wrong with slavery. You actually don't think that owning a slave is a moral question. I would love to own Islam, Islam. Are, 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 you, are you a Christian in disguise? No, I'm not. There you go. So a Muslim just said, I would love to own slaves. Because Sharia permits the slave trade. It permits the slave trade. All right, Rob. Okay, nice talking to you. Look, 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 look. I want to give you a Christmas present. As always. This is my brother. Yeah, you know this thing for the book at someone? Yeah. You can just open up any chapter here and read some from this so that you can answer something. There you go, Rob. This is my gift to you. Okay, appreciate it very much. Merry Christmas. I know we can't say Christmas back. So, anyway, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. So my point, my point to you is, guys, my point to you is, guys, that Jesus said, do unto others as you would have done unto you. Which if you don't want to be someone else's slave, then you are oblig obligated to oppose the slave trade. And if you're a Muslim that doesn't want to be a slave, then that means you have to oppose Sharia because Sharia permits that someone else should be a slave. And this is the beauty of our Lord's teaching, because it allows you to pursue the good as the good becomes available in your circumstances. There was a time when it was impossible to get rid of slavery, but repeatedly through Christian history in the 5th century, in the 10th century, in the 17th century, we Christians tried to abolish slavery. But in the 5th century, Islam didn't exist. In the 10th century, Muslims were busy taking slaves. And in the 17th century, Muslims were busy taking slaves. And Muhammad, he talked about genocide. Muhammad permitted genocide when he could have stopped it and he chose not to and he saw the Banu Quraysh murdered to a man and their women taken as concubines. Mohammed himself taking Safiya, a Jewish woman, as a concubine, married her and had sex with her within three days of her losing her husband, her father, and her uncle. Do you honestly believe that Sophia wanted to have sex with Mohammed? Or is it more likely that Mohammed raped Sophia? Go on, now you can make a point. Ali, if you jump into this conversation, I'll start interrupting you. If you jump into this conversation, Ali, I'm going to start interrupting you. Okay, Bob. So, go on, are you making a point? We've had this long discussion about slavery. I've been happy. Glad to hear what you said and what my brother said. My Muslim brother in the faith. So, what, what I want to put to you is, slavery has always existed. It exists and it always will exist. What I put to you is that there is nothing morally wrong about slavery. And I will, I will prove this. That's the problem in following Muhammad. That's the problem in following Muhammad. I will prove this from the Bible, the problem from the Bible following Muhammad. I will prove this and from the Quran and wherever else you want to look. So we've established that slavery existed before the time of Jesus, since the time of Jesus. We've accepted that the Bible does not explicitly, although you've brought up some verses, but it doesn't explicitly condemn slavery. And we know that certain Christians were slave owners uh, at the time of Paul. Now, I believe that we established that uh, slavery means that you're the property of someone else. And uh, since we're created by God, we believe that we're the slaves of God. You say that uh, in Christianity, you believe that uh, you're children of God. Now, the reason we don't use this uh, analogy in Islam is 
because the son can be disobedient to the father. You have the story of the prodigal son, the, the uh, believer who ran away and then came back to his father. Now in Islam we don't use this analogy because we recognize we were created by God, we recognize we're God's property. And the word slave has a negative connotation because of people like the Christians who quote unquote abolish slavery, but really nothing of the sort happened. Uh, you're talking about chattel slavery, people in chains being maybe whipped, made to do hard labor, that sort of thing. Now, what I put to you is that we're all slaves in some form or another. Why? I'll give you an example. If you work in this country or any country, you have to pay taxes. That means a portion of your labor is taken by the state. Uh, it's the property of the state. That means you're a slave. If you're a citizen, you're a slave. Every country has citizenship. That means every citizen in every country is in some respect a slave. Now you might say to me, oh well, we're not in chains being whipped or forced to do hard labor. Well, that's besides the point. And the brother brought up the point that, uh, you know, in uh, cases of war, people are taken as prisoners of war. Now, Christian countries have had wars and, and took, uh, you know, during World War II, German prisoners of war. And uh, so what's what's your point? About, uh, can I reply sorry, now? Sorry, I've, I've gone on a so, bit. So let's be clear. You heard it again from his own lips. You're a slave. There's I'm nothing. A slave, did I interrupt you? All right, go on. Learn some manners. I've got plenty so, of manners. So, well, try practicing them. Carry so, on. yeah, try practicing them. I no am, one's your dimmy mate. I am practicing. So try, try not interrupting, like I didn't interrupt you, yeah. and try practicing those manners you claim to have. So, as I was saying, you all heard it from his own lips. And this is the problem with following Muhammad. He literally said, that it's not a moral question whether you own a slave. He's, that's what Islam does to you if you follow it. You actually think that there's nothing moral about owning a slave. Now, we did see a real difference between Jesus' teaching and Muhammad's teaching. Jesus said, do unto others as you would have done unto you. So if you don't want to be a slave, that means you don't enslave other people. No, don't interrupt. You don't enslave other people. Furthermore, if you don't enslave other people, it means you have to oppose ideologies that permit slavery, like Islam. And he said, well, yes, there were Christian slave owners. And we see an example in the book of Philemon, in the letter to Philemon, of what the example of Jesus did amongst the very first Christians. So let me read an example of it. Because we know Muhammad bought slaves, sold slaves, permitted the trading in slaves, the raping of slaves. No! Let's look at what Philemon says. This is Paul writing. For this reason though, I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do your duty. Yet I would rather appeal to you on the basis of love. Perhaps this is the reason he, a slave, was separated from you for a while so that you might have him back forever, listen to the next bit, no longer as a slave, like but Muhammad. more than a slave, a beloved brother, yes. especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the life and flesh and in the Lord. So the example of Jesus resulted in this kind of teaching. I could command you to do your duty to accept him back, not as a slave, but as a brother. But by comparison, your slave trading prophet 
no, is permitted a slave trade to continue and has led you to the conclusion that slavery is not a moral question. How is that more moral to free a slave? Oh, it's shut up now. Go ahead. Oh, he Go doesn't ahead. want to shut. Hey, doesn't want to shut up now. The moment he starts he talking, he's start got nothing to say. Show me where your biblical God free. Take a seat. They say the example you do. Oh, they shut up again. They've shut up again. They've got nothing to say now. Now that the Muslims speaking, suddenly they're quiet. Hold on. Okay, so the example you do is basically hold. Oh, they've shut up again, Luke. They've shut up again. Oh, when he starts to speak, these guys have got nothing to say. But when I was talking, they couldn't shut up. Carry on. Oh, wait. Now he's stopping them from interrupting him. But when they were interrupting me, he had nothing to say to them. Wait, they shut up again. Why have you been quiet? You are, you are busy heckling me when I was talking, but when he's talking, you've got nothing to say. Oi, they shut up again. Why have they shut up? When he's talking, they are quiet, but when I'm talking, they have something to say. But when, when they interrupted you, you wanted them to be quiet. But when they were interrupting me, you had nothing to say. Say about it, and that's the problem with following Muhammad. Is Don't you think you, that Muslims are superior to Christians yeah, and can treat Christians however they want? Just make a point now if he touches you, get tell him. Ladies, ladies, you're going to be quiet when you're biblical God is. Ladies, ladies, you're going to be quiet when you're biblical God is. Ladies, ladies, you're going to be quiet when you're Why are you being quiet? Why are you being quiet? Why are you being quiet? Carry on. I have to do it, you do it. Rude, isn't it? Speaking to a slave owner and telling him to free his slave. Not as a slave. Right. So how is that, why is that morally uh, uh, better than remaining? <laughs> okay, let me answer that question because that is a very fair question. Okay, so the brothers asked a very fair question. And the question is, why is it morally better to not own a slave than to own a slave? I'll tell you why. Remember that the... And the question is, Sorry. why is it morally better to not own a slave than to own a slave? I'll tell you why. Remember that the Paul and Philemon were inspired by Jesus. That's important. And Jesus, notice you've got nothing to say to him now. Notice that. Now, Jesus said, do unto others as you would have done unto you. Why is it morally better not to own a slave? Because yeah. owning a slave yeah. as a piece of property denigrates another human being. It limits their freedoms. It limits their liberties, their ability to live their own life. The, the best way to treat another human being is with the optimum level of dignity that you can give them in your circumstances. Would you agree? Would you agree? Hold on, you're... The optimum, let me finish my answer then. The optimum level of dignity that a slave owner can give to a slave is their freedom. And if they choose not to do that, they denigrate themselves and they denigrate their slave. And what I find shocking, because you said, why don't I embrace Islam? Right at the beginning of this conversation, you said, are you thinking about becoming a Muslim? Your answers in this conversation are repugnant to any moral conscience. You said slavery should continue, that slavery isn't a moral question, that it's not immoral to own a slave. Your answers are the reason that I don't want to follow your prophet. Okay, Bob, Bob. So yeah, you said, Jesus said, do it to others as, as you would be done by. And would you agree that that would mean if you don't want to, do you want to be owned as a slave? Answer that. Do you personally want to be my property?
No, that's not my question. My question was, do you want to be the property of another human being? I'm joking. I'm a Muslim, so inshallah I will never be the property of another That is still not my question. My question is, do you want to be the property of another human being? Oh. Answer my question. Why are you quiet? Of course sir. No. No. So you see, he wants to legitimize actions to others that he doesn't want to have done to him. And that is why Jesus is the superior teacher than Muhammad. That's also called hypocrisy, by the way. It is hypocrisy, yes. No, look, Bob, I, I, uh, when you say slave, you, you, have, you have to be a bit more specific here. What are we talking about? I literally gave you the definition in the question. Okay, so I told you... Being the property of another human being. So I told you that as citizens, we are slaves of the state because we have to pay taxes. So we are already slaves. Obfuscating. It's not obfuscating. You're trying to compare being a citizen of a country to being the property of a human being. I don't know about anyone else in this audience, but I find that the most ridiculous comparison. Ridiculous. And the reason why he's making such a ridiculous comparison is because he recognizes that Jesus is a better moral teacher than no, Muhammad. I don't. No, I don't. So, where did Muhammad say, where did Muhammad abolish slavery? Bob, there is nothing morally wrong about slavery. There is slavery nothing is morally wrong with slavery. That's what he just said in 21st century Britain. There's always been slavery and always will be And that is why I don't want to be a Muslim. You exemplify the reason why I reject as Muhammad. As a Muslim, you would, not, you would not be a slave. But as a non-Muslim, you're already a slave to your own lust. So and your own what, what he... Your own intellectual pride. What he wanted to say was that as a Muslim you wouldn't be a slave, but as an unbeliever you could be. No, that's not what I'm saying. Because the Islamic slave trade was based on that very thing. Muslims could take non-Muslims as slaves, but they couldn't take other Muslims as slaves. And that is why Islam is a repugnant ideology that every good human being should oppose and why every Christian is duty bound to oppose. So, we, I've, you've still not, you've still not your, told your values me, are repugnant. You've still not told me why slavery is morally I just, repugnant. I'll tell you why. Because all human beings, would you agree? That apart from things like physical disabilities and, and socially economic status, the human beings are born with an equal dignity. Yes, and slavery does not denigrate that. Yes. Now, now, tell me why you don't want to be a slave of another human being, which is what you said earlier. Why not? Certainly. Hey, brother, brother, please. That Answer the question. Why? You ask me why I wouldn't want to be a slave. Why don't you want to be my property? <laughs> um, well, I, I, I can't answer your questions, Bob. You're, you're, you're going over my head here. Okay, I'm going over his head. And the reason, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm going over his head is because Islam has not equipped him with the moral vocabulary to enter into the discussion. Any normal human being would recognize that slavery denigrates one human being against another. Christianity teaches that all human beings are born equal and we should try as best as we can to maintain that equality as much as we can given the circumstances. But then, Islam does exactly the opposite. And that is why, bro, no, you lying. need to come back to Christianity. He's run. He's run. He's run away. He's run away. He's run away. Okay. Bro, I'm going to go over there. Anyone who wants to listen to my wrap up, I'm moving that way.
So we go. Okay. So the brother that left the conversation started that conversation by asking me, "Have you got any thoughts about becoming a Muslim?" With the assumption that Islam was naturally superior, and the reality is that we've seen in that conversation that the teaching, yes, afterwards, afterwards, I will, that that. Jesus' teaching is morally superior to Muhammad. Why do they don't recognize is the microphones here? So Jesus' teaching leads directly to the ending of slavery. But Muhammad's example, as we heard from the Muslims themselves, leads to the continuation of slavery. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, that following Christ is better than following Muhammad. Right, you wanted to ask a question. Born and raised in Oxford, graduated from the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London, having completed a okay. PA in African History. The question was, where does Jesus free a slave? The answer to that question is, because Jesus never owned a slave, Jesus never could free a slave. But, brother, let me finish. The fact that he lived in a time where he could have owned a slave but never did means that he is our example and he is better than Muhammad, who at a time when he could own a slave, at a time when he could own a slave, did own slaves and did trade in slaves. Do you want to ask a question? No, 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 no. No, let her ask a question. Don't be rude. Let me finish. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Go on. Don't be rude, Sam. Sam, the lady wants to ask a question. It's all right. They, they don't think women can speak. Go on. Uh, actually, none of them abolished slavery, but they, they just um, kind of told the humanity to free slaves whenever they have made the sins. <laughs> okay, can I, can, let me, let me, because... This just because Jesus and Muhammad did not abolish slavery, it doesn't mean that it was fine. I mean, it was a practice that was so widespread at that time. Yeah. We're talking about 15 centuries ago, 20 centuries ago, so whenever some, somebody would make a major sin, these people would tell them, just free a slave. And little by little, the slavery was abolished. Okay, so, so let me come back to you, because unfortunately, your goodwill has meant that you haven't analyzed the facts properly. Jesus Christ stated, if do unto others as you would have done unto you. So if I don't want to be a slave, then I don't own other people as slaves and I oppose. I'll come back to you, Sammy. Sammy, I will come back to you. Sammy, you have my word, I'll come back to you. So I'll finish my, I'll finish replying to you. Because I don't be rude to the lady. So my point to you, so, so my point to you is Christ said, don't do unto others, that, do unto others that you would have done unto you. So if I don't want to be, let me finish my point. That if I don't want to own a slave, I don't own a, if I don't want to be a slave, I don't own a slave and I oppose ideologies that permit a slave. I've just debated two Muslims who in this park, to my face and on camera, have said that slavery isn't moral, it's not a moral question, and that Muhammad established slavery forever. That's what two Muslims just told me in this park and we have it on camera. You can see it on Soko films, they say it on camera. Bob, there is nothing morally wrong about slavery. There is slavery nothing is morally wrong with slavery. Now, my point to you is, 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 yes, and he also said that those who take slaves will burn in hell. And he also said to slaves, he also said, he also said that those, don't be rude to the lady, that those who, that those who, um, if those slaves who can gain their freedom, they should seek to get it. He also said oh, yeah, a to a slave, he, need, he, need, he, he also he said to, to a slave, slave who was going back to his master, he was also said to a slave who went back to his master, he said to the master, don't take him back as a slave, take him back as a brother. But by comparison, Muhammad sold slaves, he permitted slaves, it's in the hadith, it madam, in the hadith. which is in the Islamic it's literature. Not you not see, the Muslims can object, yeah. but uh, we can show it. Right, now, Sammy, you, you wanted to ask. The thing is, 
Do you know what they did? Go on, sister. You want me to show you the hadith? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And still you can't prove to me Jesus, he never freed a, a, a single slave when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam freed some slaves. Jesus never owned a slave. He was but better than Muhammad. Time, but in his time they were slaves. He would never own a slave, but bro. But they were slaves. Can you set a slave free if you own they a slave? They were slaves. He can pay them and free them. Sorry, sorry. Sammy, let me ask you this question. He can be slave and free them, yes or no? Sammy, let's... He can answer my question. He can be them and free them. Yeah, that was a possibility, yes. That yeah, was a possibility. then why he didn't right. do Right, no, hold on. We're going to do question do. for question, Sammy. No, why he didn't Sammy, do Sammy, Sammy. Why he didn't Sammy, do Sammy. Why he didn't do You don't, no, that you game, don't get to do the no, silliness. No, no, no. You do no, this childishness no, 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 every no, week. No, Be a man. You are weakness grow up, and you throw man. Let's do a question for a question. Let's do a question for a question. Why he didn't do Sammy, I'm going to stop if you can't do a conversation. Sammy, Answer my question. If you can't do a Answer conversation, Sammy. No, I'm if you can't do you, a conversation, your God no, you're just you're just asking about, you're just asking machine gun questions. Like okay. You're just Why asking machine gun questions. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Why he didn't do it? Let me show you. Why Let me show you. Let me show you. They were slaves. Let me show you. A single slave. He can pay them and free them. He has that possibility. Okay. And he is the Miss, God. I wanna I wanna ask you you asked me where is the evidence that Muhammad traded in slaves. Okay? So you can look up this reference yourself. Can I take a pic? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You can look go away and do your research. You'll find it in Sahih al Bukhari. Just put Google Sahih al Bukhari slavery. He didn't yeah. slave. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here's, but here's, he appointed black no, no, no. Yeah. As Excuse me, madam. You ask me, me madam, does that justify him. trading in slaves no. then? No. no. Thank in you. The so Mohammed's not justified. Perfect. Look at what this says. Madam, are you talking to him or talking to me? You ask me a question, I'm going to answer your question. Yeah, Arabic is down there. Look at what it says here, miss. Miss, I'm going to walk away if you're not listening. So here's what it says. There came a slave and pledged an allegiance to Allah's apostle on, on migration. He, the holy prophet, did not know that he was a slave. Then, whereupon, Allah, sorry, there came to his master and demanded him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. And then he freed them. No, 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 you didn't listen. He sold two black slaves. Two black slaves. It doesn't say that those black slaves were freed. There's the Arabic. So we're not lying. We're not lying. We're not lying. We're not lying. Not lying. You can, madam, 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 you can make excuses as much as you want. But you've just said but it's not man. justifiable to man. own slaves. Muhammad owned man. slaves, so Muhammad no, is freedom. not. He sold two black slaves. He sold two black slaves. He sold two. I showed you in your own hadith. They were anyway, good night. It was lovely lying. talking to you. Stop lying. Have a good day. But God bless. Bro, grow up morally. <laughs> You're a moral child. Yes, you're a moral child. You actually don't think that owning a slave is a moral question. I would love to. Islam, Islam. Bro, bro, did we just get that on camera? He just say it again to the camera. Listen. Say it again. I would love to own slaves. Say it again. I wouldn't want to own you, though. No, answer the question. He just said on. He just said to me, "I would love to own slaves." That's the problem with following Muhammad. That's the problem. That is the problem with following Muhammad. You've just seen it on camera. Now, can I just check? Are you a member of the BNP? No, I'm a Muslim. Boy. Okay. I, 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 have I paid you to say that to the camera? No. Are, are, are you are you a Christian in disguise? No, I'm not. There you go. So a Muslim just said, I would love to own slaves. Yes. That is what he just said in 2021. You are all slaves because you pay now, taxes. Bro, that means a portion of if you your don't mind, labor belongs I, to the bro, state. Bro, you, if you are by definition no, that, that, that's, all slaves. That's just obfuscating. No, that's not know, a slave. Yes, this is, this is how desperate he is to try and free Muhammad. And as Muslims, we are slaves of Allah. Right. Now a Muslim Guys, is no offense. going to be the slave. No, no, 
offence, but I'd like to do a talk a, now. I'd like yeah. to do a talk oh, now. Yeah. Is that all right? Can you talk, can you talk about the curse of harm? No, not not this week. No, no, I would like to do a talk. Why is the harm slave? I would like to do a talk. I would like to do a talk. Okay. Right. So, I would like to do a talk. I would. Uh, I couldn't bear you being my slave. Yeah. The the, the sad thing is, the, 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 what a nice guy. He wants to own slaves, but he'd free me. What a nice bloke. That's the that's the problem with following Muhammad. Is it leads you to these conclusions? If you ever wanted proof why you should oppose Islam, he's the proof. Okay. I don't want to follow a slave trading religion. No. Yes. Yes. Have you heard him? Have you heard him? Okay. So, guys. Right. I would like to talk. Very graphic. Very graphic. I'd like to talk about Christianity, if I may. Yeah. I'd like to talk about Christianity, if I may. Yeah. Okay. So. No, I want to talk about, I want to talk about, I want to talk about, okay, okay, shall we, shall we move away from the triggered Muslim? Let's, let's move away from the triggered Muslim. I'm going to do a talk on Christianity. If you'd like to hear about that talk on Christianity, let's go over here.